What's up guys, Zoeb here from OneGlanceTrader.com and in this video I'll be sharing with you my brand new indicator, the OGT Big Range Bar version 1.0. And if you're brand new to my channel, click the link in the top right hand corner where you'll be able to get the playlist of every single OGT indicator and DAs that I've created absolutely free. So. I'm really excited to be adding this um, indicator to the suite of indicators that uh, my team have already produced and uh, you know I'm going to get straight into how it's made, what the rules are, what it uses and you know some ideas on on how to trade them. So the reason why I've created this indicator because um, I've noticed and as so many other traders have noticed is that you know things start to happen when there's volatility inside the market, when either a fundamental news event, um, whether something's happened, natural disasters, anything that might have happened can affect and move the markets. And what I wanted to do was create an indicator that you know quickly identifies or alerts the user on any pair, any any time frame. And the way I've done this is all based around the ATR. So the ATR is the average true range. And what the ATR does is it looks back at a certain number of bars, so the period you can define, and it adds up the highs and the lows of, of each one of those bars and takes an average so you can see what the volatility is over a given, a given range. And we'll go into an example of that inside a second. So... As you can see my screen, uh, I've got the uh, OGT big range bar version 1.0 1. 1. up. And depending on where you're watching this video, you know more than likely the link uh, to get this is inside the is below or, or in the description of this video. So again, as always, depending on when you're watching this video and how many future releases, uh, depending on feedback I get, uh, you can always check for the updated version it's it's, it's free and uh, yeah you'll you'll make sure that you've always got the latest one uh, that you're running um, the input section is very 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 small kept this very basic uh, in terms of trying to identify these big range bars or significant candles so as I mentioned uh, you can set your ATR period and then what this what this does is it looks for bars that are x multiple that you can define completely customizable based on uh, based on your own preference so for example if the average, if the ATR of a 14 period was i don't know 50 pips and you set a multiple of 3 uh, it will only give you signals of bars that are greater than 150 pips so hopefully that makes sense. And like I said, we'll go through a couple of examples. Uh, dot distance, what this basically showing is, so the signal is going to be a dot, again, which you can, in the colors, you can define what that color is. Um, this just shows how many pips uh, below that bar you want the uh, dot to occur. So again, depending on what chart you are, you might want a, a bit a bigger distance than, than two, but that's the default setting. Then you've got your usual alert. So again, you can do it on the screen you can have a sound or you can have a push notification to your phone so again many different ways of getting the alert for this indicator and again as my channel one glance trader it's really set and forget and really walk away and then when something happens you get alerted and then you can react to the situation so that is that is the indicator and what i've also done in this uh, template is added the atr which is a standard mt4 uh, indicator uh, to the, uh, to the charts and for those who don't know how to get the uh, mt4 indicator it is it is under oscillators average true range and then you select the period so again the default period on the mt4 package is 14 and on the indicator it's set to 14 as well so what we have here, you've got your main chart and then you've got the ATR underneath. And what you can see here is you've got these yellow dots. Yeah, So these yellow dots are signifying where the ATR reading at the close of the, this particular bar is three times greater. I think it's three times from memory. Um, yeah, three times greater than... Um, definitely selected the wrong one. Yep, three three times greater. So, for example, the ATR reading on this bar here. If I can get it, 
is a 122 pips uh, and you can see the whole range of this bar is four, 400 pips so therefore you can see that it is signifying that the average this bar is greater than the average volatility now I don't know the reason why again I've just taken the GPB GPP JPY daily chart and again it works on any time frame uh, any pair um, it's just utilizing you know mass in terms of the ATR and, and what is the high and the low and the range of that particular candle so you know and then we've got one we've got one over here so if we look at this one over here for those um, you know who are, who are more averse to my to my channel, know that I like candlestick patterns, and I've got my OGT um, price action indicator, which is you know what what this channel is made on or made, or made about. Again, you can get that in the description or in the top right -hand corner. Um, you'll see here that this is a a Doji pattern, so an indecision candle. Um, where you've got long wicks and a very small body in, inside the middle so the bulls and the bears were fighting and we don't know which way that this uh, that this market is going but we can see as time has gone on that um, it's starting to come into uh, a, a bear market the bulls have taken over and starting to push price down now this here would have been a great signal for you to actually if you weren't watching this chart vigorously is to say you get this signal I see a doji this indecision in the market this market could either a push higher or b push lower and as we can see here it's starting to push lower now again you could you could start you know putting that trend line in there to say actually is it um, is it starting to break the trend do we want to see a retest back here and potentially a move down etc etc bring in other indicators other confluence factors to decide on how you want to use um, uh, how you want to use this piece of information so this is not a trading system this is just giving you an indication of you know something can potentially happen here whether it uh, long or short the indicator doesn't give you that signal it just tells you that volatility is happening within the market against this pair and potentially uh, some movement some movements going to occur so then if we look at this one again this is a very strong bull candle um, again closes very near the top again here you could argue that you've got a potential area of resistance um, resistance over, over here and again pushes way way above that so this then could be an indication to watch this for the next day then you get your classic breaks above resistance comes back retest and then and then and then flies off again if you're not watching this chart you may have not have seen this uh, opportunity and this is what this indicator does um, if I just go across over here oh, again look you've got another perfect one over here which you know again gives you an opportunity of a potential pin bar reversal again it doesn't fit the main rules of a pin bar but effectively you know we are looking at a, a massive tail over here of the a pin bar reversal and as you can see here uh, it goes in that direction but again those are just three examples that I've just picked and I don't know I'm just gonna go and make this up and just and just go on this one over here um, again you've got options here again this is this is a massive downtrend again showing you some significant candles where the bears are obviously in control inside the downtrend again which maybe give you good options for a potential um, a short opportunity so you can set lines over here and every time it breaks uh, breaks comes back retests breaks comes back retest and goes down again as potential trading options so I feel like there are many ways that you can do that uh, you can utilize this uh, this indicator so feel free to download it give it a go please uh, put your thoughts inside the comments on how you would potentially use this uh, use this indicator and any feedback as always is much appreciated or any improvements for future versions that'd be absolutely fantastic so make sure that you go on and uh, watch the rest of my uh, videos and think the next video is going to be all around the price action indicator for those who haven't seen it and I shall see you on the next video